What's up, City Light? Hey, I hope in the middle of the week right now, this Wednesday morning, I don't know what you're going through, but I was just reading the other day, 1 Samuel chapter 1, the story about Hannah and how she wasn't able to have a baby, and she goes to the temple, and there's this phrase, uh, so she's really like engaging with the Lord, she's weeping, she's crying out to the Lord, uh, but it says that she's moving her mouth, but no words are coming out. So Eli, the priest, thinks she's a drunk. So he comes over there and he says, why are you drunk? It's just the middle of the day. And she says, I am not haven't been drinking. But then she says this, I have been pouring out my soul to the Lord. Uh, and I would just sat and I thought about that for a second and how important of a rhythm that is and the necessity of our life um, to have these times with the Lord, you know, where we're really pouring out our souls to him. And I think oftentimes our prayer lives can be described as maybe on the go, or uh, we call it praying without ceasing, but all we mean is we just pray when we can, when it's convenient. Um, and how much we need this this time, This it takes time, it needs some private space to it. This really reality of I'm going to get with the Lord, I'm going to wrestle with Him a little bit, you know, I'm going to pour out my soul before Him, I'm going to really deal with the things I'm troubled with, the things that might be bothering me. And I'm not just going to quickly go through it or just try to pretend like it's okay. Uh, but I'm going to get with the Lord. And I'm in faith, I'm going to argue, wrestle. I'm going to be troubled. I'm going to pour out my feelings to Him. I'm going to be emotionally connected and engaged with God. Uh, how, how important of an element that is in our life with God. Uh, the beauty in that, that time is God responds. He gives her an answer and provides a child. And then five more after that. The child was Samuel, who grows up to be an amazing prophet. Uh, but just that phrase I want to stick with you today, uh, that the Lord is ready for you to come and for you to pour out your heart before Him. And maybe, just maybe, you'd be more mentally, spiritually, emotionally healthy if you had this more of a rhythm in your time and in your schedule, that you get with God and you pour out your heart before Him. So I encourage you to go do that. And as always, go be the light of the world.